Hi, I'm Nick and we're back here with the wing. We're going to be looking at how to route your outputs today. Let's jump on in. The wing's outputs actually mirror the wing's inputs. By that we mean there are 8 analog outputs, 8 auxiliary outputs, 48 channels via the AES port and the USB port, and some external expansion cards, but we'll cover those later. On the right hand side of the console are four stereo channels. These are your main outputs. By default, main output one is routed to local output seven and eight. To route a channel to your outputs, simply press this square, third from the bottom on the left with the pan symbol. From here, you can simply push the off on button to activate to this output. You can also adjust the level of send to these main outputs by adjusting the fader on the screen. You can also use the encoders beneath. From this menu, you can also adjust the panning and the stereo width. As with most controls on the console, this can be done with the touchscreen or using the encoders beneath. To route these outputs to different sources, we need to go into the routing menu. Along the top of the screen, there are two circles, one with an arrow going in, one with an arrow going out. We need to select the one with the arrow going out. On the left hand side of the screen is our output group, and on the right hand side of the screen is our output source. The output group is where we are going to route our source to. By default, this screen is locked stopping any adjustments. Simply push the lock button on the output group to unlock it. It's extremely important to note that when you leave this menu, it will re-lock. To route our source, simply select it in the source group section, and then the output group, select which output we would like it routed to. You can change the output group using the drop down menu. And we're finished. That's how you route your outputs on the Behringer Wing.